All right, guys, we are back for our next episode of the camps video. I'm here with chaos. I'm about to show you. My submissions are almost closed, just finishing here for the rest of February. I have a lot of people who have been interested, so I'm sorry it's taking me so long to get back to everybody. And if I miss somebody, please let me know because I get confused really easily and the list is just crazy. So again, we're here on Xbox. If you have an awesome camp with like a unique place like this one or just something really cool about it, let me know and send me a message on Xbox with some screenshots and we'll see if we can fit you in. Otherwise, after March 1st, 2019 I'm gonna be closing submissions so I'm probably you know I can come check out your camp but I'm probably not gonna be doing videos on them so let's just go ahead and get started here with chaos then so I'm here for location mostly here I love how you've done this floating base across this little railroad track place oh it's just awesome so let's go up and check <laughs> it out. all right and get a third person there we go Super cool. Yeah. The the idea from this base actually spawned from a different location that actually it had the same idea, but there was a water bed underneath of it. Ooh. Um, it's probably me. It's a multi-story location. Mm -hmm. And I've already fallen there. off because I fall off uh, of everything. <laughs> um, this top part is bedroom and workshop area. Um, oh, here, let me get a view of this stuff here and, too. This is where we are. Yeah. The, Nice decor. Very welcoming. <laughs> yeah, the Raider train location actually was like a really good idea for this. Nice. Um, okay. This is main like the master bedroom type deal. It's kind of bland. I am at build limit currently. Well, your, your build is more for like the structure that you've built and the place you've built it on than for decorations because you really don't, you can't do yeah. both. You know, like you can't have yeah, it's, it's amazing decor and a cool big base with different levels like this. So don't feel bad. It's just basic workshop layout, kind of have everything spread out, don't want anything too cramped. And then down here is the kitchen and, you know, living area, so to speak. Bathroom. There's a bathroom in there. It's a very good bathroom door. It's like a house door. Yeah, it fit well with the barn door and the barn wall. I like how this is all connected through here. Yeah, it and it just like, lines up surprisingly. Go ahead. <laughs> no, it just everything kind of fell into place. I didn't really spend a whole lot of time on it. I maybe had an hour into this whole build. Crazy, because it looks like you spent an hour just lining this up out here. Looking at how close that little bridge thing is. I don't know what to call that overpass kind of thing. And then down oh, here, shit. we actually have a... Yep. Why did I not take fall damage? <laughs> I'm really happy that that's happening right now, but I'm a little concerned that I broke something. Okay, I'll fast forward till I get back up there. Come on. Here we go. Party room. So down here is just a recreational area. We have all of our music instruments. A place to sit and watch people play pool, or just kind of sit and chat. Yeah, and then if anybody tries to come up on me, or like I want to... like blind somebody. These two spotlights actually do a very good job of that at night. Nice. Yeah, but this looks really cool yeah, coming it, up it, on it from down the road. Because there's a train station right there. Mm -hmm. Yep, there's a vendor down the road. And I've actually had quite a few people just randomly walk up on this place. Yeah, because if you spot this and like in the background you got to come see it. You know, it's awesome build. So thanks for showing me this. That was all the room. Oh, you're right? welcome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. We'll move on then. Okay, we're here with Unique, checking out his camp. He's got something really excited about in it. So yeah, we're going down. <laughs> he was saying he didn't even know, he didn't know about the sled extractor here until you built no, your camp. I had no, I, I, nice. Completely oblivious. <laughs> nice added extra. That's how it was with my steel extractor. I didn't know I had it until I saw it in my resources. And then the water. Got the, uh... 27, because it's your 27th build, right? You made 26 mm -hmm. other amazing builds. Well, you know, they got better as time went on. <laughs> so I'm trying to keep it somewhat of a secret, but you can kind of see what I'm here for. This waterfall here. He has this awesome statue. I wish that 
that could like plug into water and pour out water. That would be amazing. That that would be amazing. <laughs> so, yeah. Originally, I tried making that a part of my waterfall thing, but uh, yeah, it's tricky. Side decided it's nice. So does this terminal actually functional, or is it just in here for? Because it's like plugged in. I see. Yeah, no, it works. Cool. It uh, shuts uh, my switches off or on and uh, adjusts my spotlight. Cool. The power room there. Deck with a view. We are up here. The mire is like a really fun location for camps, I think. I noticed that a lot of the ones I've picked are in the mire. Maybe I have a little favoritism going on. The uh, the flora is nice. I mean, the trees are a nice color. Yeah, um, I don't like the atmosphere. I guess the like the air where you can't yeah, see that's very well. Downer, but it's okay. This is my favorite part of your build. This is amazing. Waterfall here. Took me like I said, took me a while to get everything working properly and well, intersecting you did a good because job. putting putting floors into the walls was uh, was not easy. Yeah, getting them to wrap around the rocks, rocks like that. That's really cool. Oh, it looks so mm -hmm. good. Very nice. Well, we still have more to see, so we'll keep looking around. Yeah, oh, I didn't even see your decon the, shower uh, here last time. You're good to go. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when you step on the plate, it actually lights up the sign. Ha! Nice. <laughs> I hear that officer beeping. <laughs> My favorite sign. Living room. And I really like what you did here with the dressers. I'm glad it's daytime here in this server. We were looking at another server and we switched because there's a dead carcass on the floor. <laughs> but this one is like nice and bright, so I can really see in here a lot better. It looks really good. Okay, I'm lost. Which door is up? Right. <laughs> there we go. Chemistry station. Where I make the good stuff. Mm -hmm. Nice homey little bedroom with a view of the waterfall at the window. Nice. Definitely, oh, I didn't even see a little banjo again. Good hey, you gotta have a banjo in the swamp. That's the <laughs> of course. Too. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Good, you'll have like a <laughs> boat too. Ah, that's the one thing that's missing. But There's a only, bike down Only a river or stream. Yeah, there's a little like, a chair and a bike and stuff. All right. Well, I think that's about it, right? Is that everything? Yeah, I, I think so. I peek at this waterfall oh, one more time. Um... Awesome. <laughs> well, thank you for showing this off. Of course. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for coming. All right, we'll move on. So we're here with Eric, and we're checking out his humble base over here, but it's got a neat little secret to it. And actually, you still need a key code to get in because he's figured out how to get these power doors to work. So you're telling me you had to, like, set down another foundation, right? Yeah, yeah. So they, uh, they are snap backwards is the problem. So to fix it so they snap so the keypad's on the outside, you have to put a foundation on the outside and then a foundation on the inside, and then you put the the door in between the two foundations and if you play with it it'll let you flip it the right way but if there's no foundation on the outside of the door it'll snap it backwards okay we'll show that off oh, here put the code in there's yeah please i'll look okay. away <laughs> there you go so then this wall with a door like this is here under walls and it comes with the switch 
And then when you power that switch, it powers the keypad, you were telling me earlier. But you were also able right. to power this pressure plate and attach that to the door so that you can open it from this side. Otherwise, there's no way to get out. You're stuck in. Right. That's the other problem with the door is if you get it to face the right way, once you come in through the keypad, there's no way to go back out. Um, this switch up here comes with the door. It's not for opening it. It's just for powering the keypad. So yeah, you can't right even hit it if there's it. no A. Right, yeah. So the way around it is you set a pressure plate down, and then you take the wire, and there's actually a spot in the middle of the door frame on the inside that it'll attach to. And once you do that, then you can open it with a pressure plate from the inside. Nice. So we'll peek around So that's here. the way around the broken door. But yeah, the first floor is crafting. And you have your fusion generator in here because you took off the roof, you were telling me, so you could place it inside? Yeah, both the fusion generator, the decontamination arch, uh, this modern fireplace, and also the in-wall conduits all have to be placed before you put the roof down. But once you do that, you got no problems. So I can have my fusion generator inside where it's safe and it's not outside. See, I was able to put my decon shower down, but I have, like, raised roof, so I wonder if that makes a difference. Right. No, that's that's what it is. For a normal wall, it won't fit. But if you raise the wall or put it outside is your only way around. So how do you get out of this door? So yeah, the, oh, this the is an actual switch. now is, yeah, that's an actual switch that I placed. So the pressure plates can't work on a second story, and they won't work on anything but a floor, like the first foundation, first floor foundation, or the ground. So I had to do a different door to. Oh, that's lame. The second floor. Now, I wonder, I haven't actually tested this, but it might be worth trying. Um, in order to get the decon shower down on the second floor, I put it on top of a vault girl. Could you, like, put it on top of something? Have you tried that? Well, I, I'm, I, I, I heard about the campfire trick, and to be honest, I just can't do that because it's just not realistic looking. So, <laughs> so you haven't tried. I, I'm, I'm pretty, I get you. Yeah, I'm pretty confident I'll just remove the roof or i guess for the decon it'd be on the first floor i'll remove this the second floor place it and then put that down you just have to work in reverse but i'm pretty confident it'll fit that way but yeah, yeah i know you can pretty much place anything on a campfire and there's those floaty camps with stacked rugs and all that good stuff but i just it has to look kind of real for me i love the dartboard placement here on yeah vault tech on the outside and fun on the inside so yeah, this is a pretty awesome base. Thanks for showing it off. Got your siren here. Yeah, no problem. Oh, you were telling me the yeah, siren's the like siren always on? The right way, yeah. yeah, so the way to work the siren properly, if you just place it down and power it, every time you fast travel to your base, it'll automatically turn on, and you have to oh go God. and manually turn it off, which is a pain. So all you do is wire it to a separate switch, and then you can turn the siren on and turn it off. And when you fast travel in, it just stays off unless you want it Sweet. on. Awesome. Well, thank you for showing this off. Yeah, no problem. Oh, wait. I totally forgot. So actually, we're going to show the power door thing. All right. So we've got the when one foundation. It. And it wants yep. to snap it this way toward the inside. But if you put down another foundation. Yeah, the keypad's facing you. Yeah. Then you'll be able to place it in the middle, and then if you just slightly walk back and forth, you'll see it flip. And then you can ah. choose which way you want to snap it. And then, let's see, that way. There you go. So, oh, it's yeah, the where you're standing code. is the inside. Okay. Yeah, it does that. Yeah, so you'll have to remember that code if you want to demonstrate it. Sweet. Well, I'm not going to bother printing it off. You can figure it out from here. So now we'll move on. <laughs> okay, we're here with Stoney and checking out his unique spot for this camp. He's actually built it into a diner. Didn't know you could do this. So let me show where you're on the map. Here. Very nice. I like the menu. <laughs> he doesn't have a mic, so I'm just kind of wandering around, showing myself around. There's a little garden out here. This is neat. 
Did you place this down? Give me a give me a wave if you place this down yourself. All this with the picnic tables and whatnot. Cool. It looks nice. Nice outdoor seating area. And then he was able to place stuff like in here, like this couch and stuff. So here's his actual camp. And then he gets this whole diner to himself. Oh, and it's got one of my favorite teddy bear moments in it. Hang on. Check this out. <laughs> oh, I love that bag. So I'll come around. He's got some stuff on top. So I'll go up there first. And I'll go around the back. Neat little bedroom up here in the tent. Got a place where he could come. And then he's got this awesome deck back here. Oh, I see how you replaced the broken bar stool. Nice. <laughs> this is so cool. Is that your generators? Purifiers. Nice. And then this deck out here. Pretty much yours. His actual... Let's see if I can hold out the camp so you can see where the layout is. That's really cool that you could place stuff here. So thanks for showing me this. It's awesome. I think this will probably be it for this video. So I'm going to say the same stuff I always do. Make sure you subscribe. Give it a like if you can, you know, and we'll see you guys next time.